Since the start of the pandemic, scientists have been checking the wastewater flowing through the Deer Island treatment plant from sinks, tubs and toilets in Boston and several surrounding communities. And recently, they noticed a spike. It's increasing quite fast over the past week or so. In fact, Mariana Matus with Biobop, the company doing the testing, says last week the amount of coronavirus found in local wastewater hit its second highest level on record. The current spike that we are seeing in the MWRA data is uh, it's close to, to the maximum spike we have seen before. So this is uh, one of the highest levels of virus concentration that we have seen. Until now, Biobot has only been able to check for all variants clumped together. Now, Matu says, they have perfected a way to tease out each variant. Basically, processing the wastewater sample and producing the sequencing data takes about two to three days, plus, you know, like another day of data analysis. So we hope that we can have data and results back to share um, by the end of this week. Meanwhile, labs, including the one at UMass Amherst, are also looking for Omicron in samples from individuals who've tested positive for the coronavirus. But because that process is labor intensive and costly, not all positive samples are checked. I'd say there's only a fraction, maybe 5%, maybe 15% of positives for which we know the variant so at this point, Omicron is just one of the possible explanations for the recent wastewater data spike. It might also be caused by the ever-present Delta variant or by recent gatherings for Thanksgiving.